Welcome back, everyone. And howdy ho. Who did you know that? <laughs> This is the Reboot Review colon. It's alphanumeric. I'm Robin. I'm Katie. And we are doing a little reboot rewatch here. We're watching reboot and talking about what we're watching. And liking every minute. Every single second. Even though we often complain. <laughs> we, we, we do. And like, I hope that's not taken as an indictment of the show because we still love all of its weird charms and everything. But the whole point of this is to kind of like deconstruct, deconstruct, comment right. on things that maybe don't hold up as well while appreciating the things that do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the episode that we'll be deconstructing today. Is Mega Frame. Mega Frame. Mega Frame. And I'm going to stop talking about what's going to happen in the episode before we watch it because the last couple of episodes that has not worked out well for me. <laughs> I just, I accept <laughs> that I don't great. know what happens in any given episode of season three anymore. I'm just glad because I often forget. And I claim to be this big fan, but Robin always remembers and always knows. But not so lately. She's fallible. So just like all of us. <laughs> So we are just going to watch Mega Frame with no speculation as to what happens in this. We'll see something completely new, perhaps, this time than we've ever seen before. Yes. Maybe no I've UPC forgotten all of it. No UPC codes on anyone's foreheads. Right. That was That's all I could think version, of. <laughs> which is identity crisis. Yes. So, all right. Are we ready? I'm ready. Well, let's jump into some Mega Frame, starting now. Pew! Pew! to the net. Oh, she finally gets her own yeah. voiceover. Systems. And what I find interesting in this and is that it really kind of sprites. goes towards establishing My Dot family. as being one of the actual heroes of the show. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to a side character, because what we'll see at the end of this opening sequence, which I know I wasn't going to speculate, but I was just watching this <laughs> to test the episode, so I know this is true, um, is that for the final reboot at the end of this sequence, um, Dot is standing front and center. Whereas in the first season and second season, of course, it was Bob right. standing in the center in the middle. So that to me just kind of establishes Dot as being truly one of the heroes of the show and hero figures. And that's something that I've really enjoyed about our rewatching of the show from the beginning Yeah, is, is her character really is one of the ones that goes through one of the biggest and most... Um, Oh, not com I don't complicated isn't the right yeah. word. Yeah, like, her, her, it's subtle, it's smooth, and it seems purposeful. It's very natural growth. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, like, I mean, Bob, obviously, yes, he changes quite a bit. Looking at him shine. Yeah, <laughs> but a lot of it is off screen. Yeah, you know, he goes away and then he comes back, and now he's this kind of changed person. And I mean, a lot of dots change here, of course, would be off screen. Also, I always love the use of the reboot sad theme. That just is one of the iconic themes of the show for me. And they do a really nice job of kind of re-spinning it and recontextualizing it. And there's a little more going on with it right now here. I just want all computer users to see Dot, that you didn't ruin your worry. computer. <laughs> Megabytes. You right? If you need a new computer, you tell your parents. It's you didn't Megabyte's do this. Fault. That's right. But yeah, even though this part of her growth happens off screen, um, yeah, there is just something that feels very organic about her character. Because it started happening before yeah. so many of these arcs even... Yeah, like you were just talking about this episode title reminding you of Identity Crisis, but that's a great example of where we start to see the depth of her character for right. the first time, or, you know, early on at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's It's been really... Let's do nice it. because for me I was never a huge dot fan but as an adult watching like the way that they Frosty made her boys. grow I like I really appreciate it like yeah it's, it's I don't know if they did it that subtly and that slowly on purpose or if it was just something that kind of just came felt from, right yeah that, yeah it's like she started off as supposed to be this or supposing to be this sort of sassy barmaid. Yeah, that was... With a little, like, business savvy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and now she's a fairly serious character, but in a way that works. It really does. Yeah. A leader. Has a lot of depth. Hex and... must have gotten free. I'll bet she was pretty mad. Tilly, okay. tilly, tilly. <laughs> what she some mad? very nice, like... Oh, I do like that little, like, sound, but... They do a nice job of the transitions here, yeah. I think, where you don't need the doodly doo doodly doo doodly doo <laughs> yeah, lines in order to happening. make it work. Yeah. yeah. No longer will I wear your shackles, bro. 
brother. Now it is my turn to rattle your bones! Man, only Hex could deliver that line in a way that, like, you just... It's, actually it's not corny. Chilling. You yes. just believe it 100%. I like how many times they showed I that. know. <laughs> I mean, they are big fans of that in general, like the instant replay from different angles <laughs> yes. of destruction. Because was it was it Bad Bob that did a whole bunch of that? There's definitely other episodes where that was a thing. I think you're right. I yeah, think I think it was Bad Bob. Uh, um. Hex took out the firewall, all right. <laughs> Overloaded. And it looks like Megabyte fought back. Viral scorch marks. Hey, look at this. Those clearly identifying viral scorch marks. I'm sure they like Hex study those in Guardian Academy. Of course. <laughs> like when they get downloaded into the yeah. game. Huh. Nulls. And lots of them. Definitely not my friends and family though. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. No way, not possible. <laughs> Perfect. It really is. Because, like, that must be a really hard thing to do in a recording studio. It's just right, idle noises of, yes. like... Oh. I she bet that up must have, slash. like, for people watching that the first time... Yeah, it's like, what? are they destroyed? That's true, actually. I hadn't thought of that. Like, they're just we haven't so... seen any indication that they're still alive. Swarm it, moles. Swarm it. Oh, and they just I like dissolved that, that they thing. Just, I hope no one. Was I guess in they're there. energy suckers, right? That's, That's right. Yeah. I didn't know that they were able like, to like matter decomposers. Yeah. Oh, but I guess okay, maybe there's maybe that's part of their function. Yeah, that could be. Assuming renewing the forest floor of yes, the inside exactly. of your computer. <laughs> like fungi. <laughs> Little different, sir, but I'm sure it was Bob. So the Guardian survived the web. Well, his return can mean only one thing. Megaframe no is back <laughs> on the net. Herr Doctor. Jawohl, Lord Megapite. Herr Doctor, I have ruled over well, this That's right, they've now opened up the net again, which uh -oh. is a risky thing. Didn't you miss Tony J's voice? <laughs> I know, it was way too long. Yeah. Even with number seven in there, just wasn't enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Like those close ups. Well, they, I, they were just. Okay. All right. <laughs> sure. Yep. No. I cool. guess that cool. is what he would do. It is. That's... Absolutely. That's completely in character. <laughs> oh, man. Which, again, the show is pretty good overall at knowing what its characters right. are going exactly. to do. Exactly. Like, like me thinking, oh, there's going to be a light on me. I'm going to dive or. I'm yeah. Like, no. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm just going to scream and, and fire stand. my gun. <laughs> Fly Blah! at them. I hate that light. That hurt my eyes. <laughs> That's a cool man, weapon. It is cool, but like, man, the idea of like a phalanx of binomes looking like dangerous. <laughs> I know. Like, I mean, like, I do, I do accept it. Like, I accept that these are like, oh, they're they're soldiers and they're coming for you. And then I take a moment and I'm like, they're binomes. <laughs> I know one of them could have been wearing a two. <laughs> yeah, really. But I guess that is what helps turn it into a kid show. Is that yeah. it's not too scary, or there's yeah, just never enough. quite. Nice roll. Lots of slow mo though. Thanks, Jesus, Bob. I know. It's just like, oh. I mean, if he had had glitch, he could have totally been like glitch shields. Yes. You know, like, it's not like Bob could not have done that previously, but now he does it with energy beams, which are just way more boring. Yes, <laughs> You know, exactly. like... Okay, cool. Glitch levitate. Oh, I forgot this part. Yeah. 
<laughs> He's just like, okay, we're just gonna portal out of here. Those rebel scum. <laughs> they never learn. Yeah, it was that an exact Star Wars line? Let's not try that again. I don't quite remember. I can't believe it. I'm not that. I'm not, I'm not that, that in on Star Wars. He would have needed a new place to set up shop. They are going big on like the cut, cut, cut in this episode. Look it's at effective. It. Look, it's so bad. <laughs> Love the gunshots. Yes. Didn't want to fix oh, his window. No, 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 no reason to do that. That would be frivolous. Besides, you have to like look more intimidating. That's a good shot. Yeah, that is. And like him in that relaxed pose yeah. and everything. He's just like, I'm just gonna sit in the back of my limo while you guys literally storm the tower. Like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bluey. Again with that Lulu sound that I just to me is like season three. Yes. You're watching it. Reach for the sky. Yeah, nobody move. Yay. Not blowed up after all. That was a tough five minutes to get through. I knew it was. <laughs> Veal. Herr Doctor, what progress have you made on my travel arrangements? I'm like, I don't know if I... <laughs> There's little details, right? Like, why did he need to be eating a sandwich? And I was about to be like, is there a reason why it's like a sandwich and not some kind of computer pun snack? I'm like, I'm not sure whether I needed that to be a computer pun or whether I'm happier that it's just a regular sandwich. <laughs> I know, it's unusual. And that's what makes yeah. it, oh, these meaningful glances they share. <laughs> okay. Okay, I need to know again. I might have said it last time, but who is her who's Air Doctor? Gary Chalk. Which is so <laughs> funny, because like I know what Gary Chalk's normal voice sounds like. He's what? he's Turbo. Oh, that's right, his right. usual cartoon voice. So like Turbo is Air Doctor. It's that's that's it, a huge change. It you can't is. tell. That's an, you just I can't never would have guessed, yeah. Easy Matrix. They were never that bad. Um slash oh, yes, Does that look a little bit like and he's also Slash. Uh, well, yeah. Yes. Which sounds that a little closer sense, to his right? normal voice. Bob! Oh, Bob. Bob. Uh, <laughs> Which would be my reaction, too. Yes, like fair. It is very exciting. Look for you. Did they switch oh, whoa, whoa, icons? Easy boys. Did they? Well, that one's red. Red. Oh, and the other one's blue. Enzo. Oh, Enzo. A good oh, thing did they always have... Bad. Did they ever have icons? I thought... So Oh, that's a good point, actually. Did they have icons before? They, I don't think so. They're so noticeable now. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm and gonna they could have been to given icons up and, once they became. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Rebellion. Oh yeah, very good. Very good indeed. Just like a baby in our arms. Just like. Goodness, I wonder what happened to his eye. Oh, but I wouldn't want to see the other guy. Have we? Have I asked? Does Hack's voice change? Um, Hax was changed change back in season two. ASAP. Yeah, okay, we did talk about yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. This just was more noticeable today, I guess. Mm, well, because you haven't, like, heard him speak for so long. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh! Dot, look! We have brought you a surprise! Yes, a very big surprise, huh? Huge! <gasps> A little moment of recognition oh, is so good. Sense. They did such a good job. <sighs> you can't interrupt that. <laughs> Enzo? Uh, Enzo! Oh, Enzo! <laughs> oh. I, I thought you were nullified. I thought Whole different, I much bigger everything. music. Mm -hmm. I had a promise to keep. I brought Bob home. Bob's here? 
Is that that tinfoil guy behind you? <laughs> 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 it's uh, it's like uh, nice to see you too, Mouse. I guess that's just Mouse's standard greeting. Oh wow! Well. But just like. It did always really strike me, though, just how disrespectful Mousy is. <laughs> I know. She's, she's like, really? Awful. You just but, did like, not think that this would have... Oh, oh, the, he, mistakes. He's missing some gold. <laughs> Here it is. It's came back. Andrea, is she with you? What she's like, you smell like okay? mouse. I can't do this. It's fine. They're on the saucy mirror helping the pirates. The pirates? That's great. You brought the cavalry, sugar. Now your plan can work. Where's Fawn? Oh, oh dear. You're gonna tell him or am I? Someone have a problem. <laughs> yep. Some, they some couldn't all just be fine. Oh, he's right there. We're fine. <laughs> Not good. Sir, the inner defenses are failing. We can't hold him off any longer. We have to. Oh, and I like Specky still so, like referring to her as Sir. Yes. <laughs> Very classic. Evacuate. Now. We can't abandon the principal office. Megabyte has won this battle, my child, but you must survive to ensure that he does not win the war. He does a pretty good job of like serious Fong in addition to playful dopey's Fong. Yeah, because yeah. like Fong starts out as such a caricature kind of character. <laughs> yes. And but then like by this point you're like, yeah, I I buy into Fong's gravitas. Yeah. Like good way to put it. I believe he has the wisdom of the ages going on here. And a little bit more than that even, you know? Yeah. Like, He's well it's it's a very for anyone who likes props. Cross referencing. Yes. Uh, Uncle Iroh. Kind yeah, of the same similar deal. kind of thing. He sort of presents the goofy front, but. But is wise, wiser than you think. Oh, yeah. Child, I will buy you the time you need. Hack, slash. Yes, yes sir, your fong ship. Your fong ship? I don't remember that. Yeah, That's good. From now on. But fong? No arguments now. I rebuilt you for a reason, and this is it. To protect Run Dot? Along. I mean, I guess. Well, they were originally to protect Megabyte, so. Uh, yeah, like they had. <laughs> well, they they have to protect someone. Right, they're just useless if they're not. Oh, that little like turn yeah. around and look and. Yeah, I think there's a lot to be said you must about leave. the idea that Fong. Hack and Slash were always these likable characters. And once you had to make Megabyte fully unlikable enough to be like a true world shattering villain, he couldn't was, have them. He couldn't have that likability of like the cute sidekicks. Like we have to take yeah. Megabyte seriously now. Now his cute sidekick is a psychopath doctor. Basically. Which works. Yeah, it does. Yeah, he still needed the comedy relief, but. Yeah. Well, that was a good cut. Yeah. And we don't know what happened to him. I always notice that little gesture of dots where she's like, do I, I good yeah. do I do anything? Because I did find a really interesting choice that they chose to make that reunion kind of awkward. Especially with Look. like Enzo being so no holds barred, like, oh my god, my little brother's back. Oh, that's and right. then Bob back being like, and I know they do explain it later. Right. But I just thought it was an interesting choice to actually try and like put something extra in there. Yeah. And it, it was nice. Yeah. It, it made them very different moments. Yeah. Excellent. Prepare the extraction. And I mean, I could understand too, like, maybe she would have done a big hug, but then Mouse just did it. Yeah. And like, Mouse nice. doesn't have the same kind of feelings toward him. So, so would it like, have cheapened that it? Really, that, yes, yeah. yes, exactly. Which, again, I'm like, Mouse. Like, I, know. <laughs> I know that's her character, but just part of one of the ways in which, you know, she's a frustrating character. I know. But it's the funny because no like, when I think about her, her motivation is not that she's thinking about other people it's as much true. as thinking about her own joy and her exactly own yeah yeah and she just she's impulsive and she can't contain herself that's right yeah but it's funny because when i was younger i'd watch that moment and i think that it was her trying to get a rise out of dot but it's like that's totally not what she would be doing like, yeah she's not thinking about that yeah no that's really true it does sort of read that way but 
Come now, Fong. Spare yourself the pain. You know, pain. I feel like he could have done that painlessly. I'm just going to be honest yeah. <laughs> It's Megabyte, I guess, right? Yeah. Yes. I know. And I mean, if, like, your plasma extraction has to be painful, a la Matrix donating energy to Andrea, <laughs> then <laughs> this has to be painful, too, I guess. This is just for fun. <laughs> right? Her little oh, sunflowers. Oh, sunflower glowing. Wait, what was I doing? <laughs> I was just... Oh, crying. That's what I was doing. <laughs> I don't want to laugh at Dot's okay, pain. I actually still feel very moved by this. Yeah. Oh, Mouse. I was just a can the fearless leader routine. I want to know what's going on between you and Bob. If you're still mad about that little kiss I gave him. I like how Mouse is like, no, nope, we're getting straight to the gossip. I know, <laughs> that's right. Then no more world saving plans. Is it? You gotta tell me about your love I life. Can't Face him. Not after what I did. I gave up hope. I didn't think he'd ever come back. I I stopped believing in him. Duh. Well, you stopped it, believing in your brother. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, he was Enzo. <laughs> one thing, your love for that sprite out there, and his love for you. So why did you have Duh. to kiss him as soon as you saw him? I, was, I, mean, <laughs> I just... know. You're right, Mouse. Thank you. Also, Ouch. how does Mouse know that? What? I mean, she's like, one thing that hasn't changed is your love for him and his love for you. And it's like, did you ask Bob about this? Well, if you, you can did probably have a infer it. <laughs> but it's true. It's very true. She yeah. just assumes. Yeah. She's just trying to make right because she knows she made a mistake. Yeah, exactly. That must be it. Yeah. yeah. She feels bad about it, but she yeah. won't say she feels bad about it because no, right. she's mess. Yeah. Exactly. She's like, oh, come on. You guys love each other. It doesn't matter what I did. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> Oh, what a gloomy episode. I mean, they can't avoid it, but woof. I mean, I, I kind of like it. Like, the the inner drama queen isn't the right word, but the person who likes, like, the super heavy stuff, the identity crisis the fan in me kind of eats it up a little bit, but... I mean, it is, and it's fun to watch those characters go it through is. things like that yeah. and, and see how they handle the it, but... He's making a bid for freedom. Fong's alive. That's the only way Megabyte could access the codes. Okay, we don't have much time. Okay. Bob? I knew it. I knew it. This was all just some kind of psycho dream. Yeah, right? That's true. That would kind of throw you for a second. Yeah. This is all the plot. I've been so bored. But it will be so much more interesting now that you're here. <laughs> But like, again, just imagine standing in a recording studio laughing maniacally like that to a microphone. Yeah. You know? Well, that's just the, to... like, yeah, it's all about being able to put yourself in that in moment. The moment. Yeah, yeah. And imagine yourself as a computer witch. Which... <laughs> well, you know what? I bet that wouldn't be that difficult. Yeah. Once she found that Once character... she found it, it probably comes pretty naturally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you're just that that gifted at acting. Acting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, see, I even knew how that episode ended from when I was doing like my little like my little technical check. And even still, I'm like, oh, we're already here. Like this yeah. episode still had the same effect on me of being like, oh, oh, okay. That that all happened then in the in the twenty two minutes or however long. Yeah, it's that yeah, that episode really did feel weird for pacing. Yeah, yeah. And even without expecting something to happen in it like I was with the previous two. Yeah. It was just like, oh, whoa, all right. But I mean, I was, <laughs> we are. again, I was invested. I, I liked it. It's cool to be back in mainframe and to see all these characters again. And Yeah, and they, like, obviously, how are they going to tell that story without 
Exactly. Taking All this it, stuff yeah. would have had to happen. It's not like they stayed in stasis the whole time. Yeah. And, and flashbacks are a perfectly good way. And they, they did a nice job of like spreading the flashbacks out. And I, I think that is a really nicely structured episode, honestly. Yeah, I think so. It, yeah. was, it was neat. And I mean, of course, you're just dying to know what was happening back on the farm. Yeah. And you were going to need to see everyone reunited. And that's kind of a high point of the episode as well. And, yeah. yeah. And I mean, it's exactly what you would expect too like nothing was unusual or yeah yeah badly chosen like it's yeah like, yeah no, exactly. made it in and yeah took yeah. them down and now they're sad yeah b- basically yeah <laughs> right and, i'm excited but everyone I forget was, what what hexam hexamesimal hexamesimal <laughs> hexadecimal does with bob I'm excited for next episode. To remember that, yeah. Mm. I kind of remember it. I think I sort of remember, but apparently I'm not always good at remembering these things. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see how well I do. I won't try to speculate again this time. I will say, though, I do think they do a really nice job with everyone being very nicely in character. Yes. And in, including in their current characters. <laughs> inclu- very much including Mouse, <laughs> yes. But, like, you know, you see, again, like we were saying at the beginning, how everyone has changed. But, like, everyone's settled into this new character that they've kind of organically become. And the way they interact off each other and behave still feels very natural for everyone. Yeah, it was, I liked, too, the reunion scene wasn't this, yay! But it was just, wow. Like, it was way more believable as a reaction than any, like, jubilant rejoicing exactly yeah, yeah yeah no and and thanks kathleen Barr. she does a nice job with what must be like really tricky scenes i wonder if they would have watched her face as she that's a delivered good, some yeah, of the lines to yeah like, because kathleen Barr is actually known for looking a lot like dot mm, apparently i don't know if you remember or knew that but i I've, forgot yeah <laughs> that she apparently does bear quite a striking resemblance and I think it's just coincidence. I don't think they based it off her or anything. It's just she happens to look like her. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. So maybe they did. Maybe they did. Yeah, that's quite possible. Because, yeah, her expressions always felt very, like, believable throughout. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Like, they would have studied someone doing those, like, just the shift from um, one sort of Confusion thought to the to other. recognition right, right. to overwhelmed to... Crying. Crying. <laughs> a lot of crying. That does a lot of crying now. It's, it's kind of fair. her thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, I think it's I justified. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And I think that, like, Dot as a character is someone who she does hold a lot in, but she's got a lot going on emotionally. Mm-hmm. And then every so often she just lets it all out. And I think that makes her, a, that must make her a very interesting character to animate because they really have to think about her face reading the thing that she won't say. And then maybe yes. the transition into what she will say. And, like, just as a character, I think there's a lot to be done with her facial expressions. Yeah, and and they know, execute really well. Again, yeah, I'm thinking about it. And, like, I think she is one of the characters who says the most with not speaking yeah. as a character. Like, even from way, way back when she would just be angry and frustrated and you could just see her holding Yeah, she in. could just give a look or, yes. yeah, yeah, exactly. That's kind of neat to As say. opposed to, like, Chatterbox Enzo. <laughs> Yes, he yeah. doesn't have to make a facial expression because it's always he's going to say every anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Enzo, <laughs> can't help it. You were so annoying <laughs> to me personally. Oh, but- <laughs> <laughs> we just have to make it clear this is a vendetta. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right. So with that, any last comments on Mega Frame before we wrap it up? No, it was good. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was good. It was yeah. really good. Yeah. All right. So. With that, we'll leave it off here. So uh, I'm Robin. I'm Katie. And until next time, stay frosty. Now it's my turn to rattle your bones.